going on guys at target right now because uh running some errands it's the weekend so just kind of out and about just kind of random you know rotated the tires put the backs on the front because started noticing that the back tires are starting to wear a little bit faster uh the check mark is starting to go away on the tread a little bit so uh yeah noticed that that's for sure somebody's broken coffee mug pretty sad i guess but anyways got them all cleaned up shined up for the most part hopefully going off road soon so it doesn't matter but um yeah i guess did tire rotation uh it rides a lot better uh but it's it's nice and smooth now got the steering stabilizer all tight good to go nice and solid uh yeah that's pretty much how it's looking right now not a whole lot's changed just been driving it you know taking it to the mall and all kinds of places <laughs> taking it out to eat stuff like that what's going on guys on our way to pick up some jk parts we're picking up some like a full stock suspension system a good friend of ours facebook page uh, had you know stock parts for the jk so what we're going to do is we're going to take out all of that squeaky stuff that's in the jk right now we're putting it back to stock to kind of eliminate you know some issues that we're having and then also just to start off with a fresh platform so we're up to you right now we're just driving on a saturday night and uh that's that's where we're headed so i'll kind of give you a little update once we get there and uh check it out guys got the jk parts uh still gotta find a rear track bar i believe is all what we're missing and then we'll be good to throw her back to stock but got the box parts stock jk parts in the back of smoky the only thing that we're missing is gonna be the uh stock rear track bar All right, halfway done, as you can see, guys, uh, there's a lot of stuff that was just not right. Uh, for example, there was the front control arms. They were not adjusted properly, as you can see. Um, the hind joint obviously being off center. You can see this one's adjusted out. This one was all the way in. Jam nut, not even tight. This is exactly how it was pulled out. Um, I don't really think these are really too worn. Probably just get new home joints for these and get them powder coated or painted or whatever, but just gonna sell it for cheap so somebody can, you know, restore it, but I don't have any time for that because this is not the desired parts that we want. But also looking back here, we were just kind of finding stuff like, um, you know, some bolts not really being tight enough. Some are too tight. Uh, it's just miscellaneous stuff like that. Um, you know, like a shock bolt in the front up here was too small. It was the wrong one. Anyways, found in our little uh, stash there of JK parts, uh, OEM bolt. So we got that fixed right. You know, guys, we have got everything um, replaced back to factory, back to stock. All, all right geometry, all correct parts. Everything is sound and solid. The winch and the bumper and all that on the front, it just looks like it's... Um, you know kind of meant to be like this looks like something you'd find on a dealership uh pre-owned but um noticing here on the rear check this out you can see definitely gonna put factory sway bar links back in because just don't really trust these it would feel like the rear end would kind of hop and be like really bound up i don't know it's probably because there's not a raise for the check bar bracket on the rear but all right guys here we are get all the stuff out got her back right fresh foundation ready to uh start fresh a lot of water spots ignore that but it is time to go ahead and change the water pump because you know like i mentioned before the last thing that is left to replace is the water pump it's a little bit of a mess really that's gonna be the worst part of it so uh, everything else in here is pretty healthy and uh, clean so you know it feels really good to have all that squared away all right got the water pump laid out right here about to start getting ready to do that everything else looking good 
I uh, did want to show you guys that we did get a, uh, we located a visor, a sun visor from a friend of ours right there. But some of the stuff was just kind of ripped out of here, it appears to be. So still gotta uh, get with my friend about fixing this seat, so that'd be nice. I would really love to just find new seats, but um, we're really not really trying to put that much money into, uh, you know, stuff that we can fix and clean up. All right, got the old water pump off. Took a few minutes to kind of scrape all that old gasket off. Uh, I was trying to be careful not to actually like scratch the mating surface there. So, uh, you know, took my time on that and then just kind of went over it with the scuff pad to, you know, really give it a good clean surface. And most people online, they just use um, ultra gray, you know, once they get it clean enough. So that'll kind of fill on any little uneven imperfections and uneven surfaces. So I've got the gasket coated in ultra gray front to back and it's laid on right there. So all I got to do is grab a bolt with the new water pump, which is this and throw it on. So you can see it's OEM, got a Chrysler logo right there. Fresh new part, got it off eBay and it came with the OEM gasket as well. So that's cool. Install this, uh, you know, evenly with the bolts star pattern and uh make sure it gets torqued down to the right torque spec and i'm not really sure the curing or drying time on this i've got to look at it but um getting all that coolant back in there we'll get this puppy bolted up and get the torque specs all right and uh start filling up some coolant so also left this open too while that was uh draining coolant you know all right new water pump is in all i gotta do is just torque the bolts because I did snug them, but did not torque them. So three half inch bolt. Those are 10 millimeters and there's seven of them. Yeah, got all the old coolant back in the old jugs. You know, there's nothing left for anything, uh, you know, available for animals to lick up. So we're all safe there. We're all good I'm waiting for the ultra grade to dry clean, but it's already dry on the outside. But you know, you need to wait an hour before you torque the bolts, and then you need to wait 24 hours for it to cure before you add any liquids. But I've seen people, you know, put ultra gray and then tighten it down and then fill it back up with coolant. So hopefully, you know, it's not gonna affect anything. But I filled up about a gallon, gallon and a half of coolant. You know, we kind of burped it as much as we could without running the engine, and letting it bubble up and letting it sit. Got a lot of this cleaned up really well, uh, you know, when we cleaned out the engine bay. But just got a little bit more minor detailing stuff to do. Um, definitely gonna clean up here on that uh, rain channel. Gotta get that nice and clean because that's one of the main things that looks dirty still when you pop the hood, so. All right, guys, got a stock rear track bar. That was the last missing piece to the puzzle. Uh, you know what we need left to the stock suspension to drive. So that's cool, that is really good. Again, hopefully all the coolant will be bled, you know, from doing the uh, water pump. So hopefully that'll turn out good, but we're gonna pop the rear track bar in and then crank it up and see, see how that's looking. So excited about that, see where that goes. And it's just cranked it up. 
pulled it out of the garage. Uh, haven't been cranked in a few days, obviously, so letting it get uh, warm and stuff. So basically got the heat on, no AC. Is getting, let's see, not really quite too far yet, but I've got the radiator cap off right now, as you can see, uh, just kind of letting it bleed and letting it do its thing. And it's taking some more coolant, so I think uh, about a gallon came out. I poured about a gallon and a half in. As you can see, it's still kind of burping. So <laughs> just kind of sitting here, chilling, letting it do its thing, uh, just kind of going over some stuff. And it's probably going to be warm here in a second. So I think we are uh, going to do a little bit of cleaning as well. Probably some fine detailing stuff here in the engine bay. Stuff like that, whole areas that we uh, missed the first time. Kind of go back over, find a tooth comb. All right, taking off this front bumper. So it's four, well, three nuts and then one bolt. But um, everything else is still doing great. Just got some new windshield wipers. About to clean all that sticky residue from the sticker off. And um, so this bumper is going on the Gladiator and we're gonna put the stock Gladiator bumper on here since everything else is stock anyways. So it should look good and be pretty functional for now. We do have a gas cap light on and check engine light because of the um, gas cap on the dash saying that it's either not tight or it's open or something like that. So that's kind of weird, but it does smell kind of like gas. <laughs> 